Hey guys, it's me again, Dapo Willis. Now guys, today I want to speak about a topic that I seem to get asked all the time. Well, I seem to get asked it all the time and aside from that, I see a lot of people struggling um, in Forex because of this issue. Now the issue is, how do I, or rather the, the question goes, how do I get investors for my Forex trading? Um, because I, I realized that a lot of you guys are actually starting to do very well with your trading and for the better half of people who are actually still struggling with their trading is primarily because they don't have that much money. Think about it guys. A lot of you guys have a hundred dollar accounts, five hundred dollar accounts, one thousand dollar accounts, and you obviously hear people like me tell you stuff like, "Oh, risk three percent to make ten percent, make twenty percent a month, thirty percent a month," and you're like, ah, "If I make thirty percent on one k, that's not a lot of money. Three hundred dollars is not going to do much for your trading. It's not going to rather, it's not going to do much for your life." So the the elephant in the room always is, um, "How do I get more money for my trading?" because I can't live off the, the, the income from my trading. And the fact that a lot of you have limited amount of capital is actually forcing you guys to over trade and over leverage, leading to blown accounts. The primary, the primary reason why a lot of you guys are actually blowing your accounts is because your account, you don't have a sizable amount of capital in your trading account. So that's exactly what I'm gonna be speaking about today. So guys, I want to speak to you guys. I want to teach you guys how to go about sourcing for funds from investors. But before I do any of that shit, I want you guys to do me a little favor. Making all these videos takes a lot of time and freaking effort and research as well. So I just need to do one thing, right? I need you to smash the subscribe button right there and hit the like button. I really appreciate it. And then at the end of the video, if you found this very valuable, drop me a comment because without all of this support, I will no longer be able to be motivated to make these videos. However, if I see the channel growing, if I see the community, if I see support from you guys, I'll be more motivated to make it these videos. All right, guys, so let's go to the nitty gritties of today. The question goes, how do I go about sourcing for funds from investors? Great. Now, guys, the first thing I would encourage you guys to go and do, the very first step that I always speak to my students about is to go ahead and build a portfolio. Now, portfolio sounds boring, like ain't nobody got time to build a freaking portfolio. Like, oh my God, what is a freaking portfolio? Now, when I speak about building a portfolio, I'm not trying to tell you to go and build some very advanced kind of like Excel spreadsheet kind of like that. In Forex, it's relatively easy to build a portfolio. What do you need to do? Simple. I usually advise people to have a minimum of $1,000 in their trading account, $500. Mm, you know, $500, 1K will be great. So building your portfolio is very simple. You want to start trading. First of all, connect your trading account to a, an application called My FX Book, right? So what My FX Book does is it helps track your trading performance. So what you then want to do is you want to risk 3% to make 10%. You want to consistently grow your account um, at a pace of between 7 to 15% every month, okay? In a gray area of about 10%. Not more because you try and grow your account to 100% in a month. Investors don't like that, okay? So grow your account consistently for between the next 7 to 12 months, okay? And there it is. You have a portfolio. And my FX book will track all the information, all the good trades, all the winning, all the winning trades, all the losing trades, the drawdown, the upside, and all that. And it's that simple. All I'm asking you to do if you want to build a portfolio, the very first step to getting an investor is just trade like 
a disciplined motherfucker, right? Excuse my French. <laughs> Just trade properly, 3% to make 10%. And this, the funny thing is your trading strategy doesn't even need to be that great. As long as you're profitable over a period of time, if you can return at the end of the year, you can return 50%, which is very easy to do. Like I do 50% in like a trade, right? I'm not supposed to say that, but it's the truth because I hold for long periods of time. I am able to risk 3% to make 40%. 50 percent because why i'm going for 700 pips 1500 pips and stuff like that but that's by the way so all i'm asking you guys to do is grow your account consistently three percent to make ten percent two winning trades a month do that consistently for seven months and you have a portfolio to show investors that are now going to be willing to invest in your trading all right guys so the second approach is rather the second step of this whole equation is obviously first of all you need to build your portfolio by trading and secondly you need to package your portfolio so what do i mean by package your portfolio you need to go on trading my fx book sorry i keep saying trading view you need to go on my fx book and give me a sec guys i need to make sure this stuff is recording because if this is not recording i'm gonna cry come on where are you are you recording i think it's recording all right cool <laughs> so guys the second step you need to do rather the second thing you need to do is you need to package your portfolio so what does this mean simple go on myfxbook.com after my fx because my fx book tracks your trading progress right the simple go there there's a button called export when you click export tell them i want to export seven months or 12 months worth of data depending on how long you've been trading that account for and once you click export they would literally give you a pdf of your trading performance for the last seven for the last 12 months like I said, depending on how long you've been trading for. And there you go. That is your portfolio package. Look, my FX book, my FX book makes it look really, really nice. Okay. So that's pretty much the second step, guys. You want to package your portfolio. And obviously, don't just have your portfolio in a freaking piece of paper. You want to obviously create a Microsoft Word document with your company logo, have the front page, and then you want to obviously write um, your like how much you feel you can perform how much you can return to your investors and stuff like that and you also guys guys this is very important you also want to tell your investors that there's a possibility of losing money in this market right because i see a lot of people run into issues because they've taken money from investors and then investors are on their case okay guys so always ensure that um your contract is always um your contract is always airtight, like you ensure that every, you've gone through everything properly. But packaging your portfolio, three pages is fine, four pages is fine. The first two pages are your the kind of trader you are, um, the terms and agreement of your contract, or the kind of contract you would like to have. And then the remaining last two pages are the export you got from my FX book. It's simple, that's your portfolio, it's as easy as ABC. Now guys, um, the fourth step, sorry, I keep looking at my laptop because I obviously took some notes down. So guys, the fourth step is, uh, rather the third step is you want to now, so you have your portfolio, you've traded, you have, you've packaged your portfolio. So the third step is you now want to put yourself out there. Now guys, I have a course called the Forex Millionaire. It's attached to the Forex Mastery. For those of you guys who are on the program or have you know, heard about it or previously before, you know that the Forex Millionaire is attached to the Forex Mastery. And on the Forex Millionaire, I go in detail about how to go about sourcing for funds from investors, what to say to them, where to find them and all that. But this is just like a, like a, a guide. Do you get what I mean? If you want to know more about it, there's going to be a link below. Go ahead and grab it. It's as cheap as $39. It will teach you everything from scratch. How to build the portfolio properly da, 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 how to package it properly how what you should say where to find the people and so on anyways back to the third step guys you want to put yourself out there you want to tell everybody you want to sing tell everybody i am now a forex trader and i can make you so much bloody money and guess what guys let me tell you something people on a normal day people will tell if you ask somebody for money they'll be like oh, i don't really have money just tell them that I'm a trader and I can make money for you. People will find money that they never knew they even had and give it to you. Why? Because everybody's always looking for alternative ways to invest money. That's it. People are lazy. They just want to put, give money to somebody and then sit back in their houses and then the money comes back to them. People love that shit, right? So 
there you go put yourself out there facebook instagram tell your family members the truth is the first people that are going to invest in you are the people closest to you like your family family friend your uncle tells his wife his wife tells her boss in the office her boss has a colleague and did it before you know people are like okay what can you do with ten thousand dollars okay what can you guys i swear to you guys as you guys know me, I have so much information about Forex on the internet. Every day, my phones, literally, I have to have two phones now because this red phone is literally where the number that I give to everybody, like people who want to contact me because the amount of inquiries I get from investors are mind-blowing. Every day, please, can you trade for me? Please, can you trade for me? So, guys, trust me. You do all these steps judiciously, okay? Grab the Forex Millionaire. People, people will throw so much money at you, you won't even know what to do with it. Right now, I have to stop taking phone calls because people are bugging me. Like, please trade my money. Please trade my money. Please trade my money. So there you go, guys. The third step is put yourself out there. Put yourself on Instagram, Facebook. Tell people I can do XYZ returns. 50% a year, 10% a month, 7% a month. These are the returns. People will contact you. 1K, 5K, 10K, $15,000. As much as even 50K, $100,000. People are willing to give you. Guys, the easiest thing to do in this industry is obviously, obviously finding investors. A lot of people think it's difficult. That's the easiest thing ever. Once you know how to trade, capiche, easy. And guys, so that takes me to the fourth step, which is obviously closing the deal. Like I said, guys, I speak about more about, I speak about this more in detail on the Forex Millionaire course. But step number four is closing the deal. You want to ensure that your contract is bloody fucking airtight. Pardon my French. You want to ensure that you don't promise what you cannot return. Personally, I promise my investors 50% a year. Personally, I do 186 to 250%. But I promise them only 50%. And guess what? They're very happy with it because I want to leave you guys with this. Excuse me, guys. Ah, I think I need to get some water. Let me, let me see. Let me see my face. <laughs> so, guys, I want to tell you guys something. Um, what the fuck was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say now. Give me a sec. I'm going to remember. Um, yes, over to the contract. So, guys, when you're closing the deal, please always tell them you can do less than you can actually do it's better to pro pro promise less and overperform than the other way around because i tell them i tell my investors 50 percent because we don't have to stress 50 percent. i can do that in two one or two trades and then i relax okay and then the rest of the year whatever it is i make is entirely up for me guys because you have to understand that there's no investment vehicle in the world that will be able to give any investor 50% a year. Not real estate, not oil and gas, not anything except it's a Ponzi scheme. So you have to understand, even the stock market does treasury bills, interest rates, they are doing between 7 to 12%, depending on what part of the you, you are in the world. In the more developed countries, 0.5% a year. Crazy. And there you are doing 50 whole percent. Guys, I'm telling you, don't overpromise. They will still give you the money. Don't be desperate. And then, because you're desperate to collect the money, you go and overpromise. Okay? Tell them if they want anything more than 50%, they should get the fuck off and go and gamble in the casino. Because at the end of the day, when they give you the money, you're the one that's going to have to deal with all the stress, all the headaches of drawdowns and sleepless nights and all that. So always negotiate something comfortable, something you know that you can definitely return um, at the end of the year without hustling yourself. So there you go, guys. Um, that's pretty much it. These are my four key steps to finding investors for your trading. Let me quickly recap the video. So step number one, I said you need to build a trading portfolio. Number two, package the portfolio very nicely on um, myfxbook.com. Number three, put yourself out there. And step number four, you want to go ahead and close the deal. So guys, like I said, if indeed... And for those of you guys who are obviously struggling with your trading, the Forex Mastery, the link to it is below. And then the Forex Millionaire is over there as well. I know you guys are like, why is this guy is always talking about his course? It's because I don't want you guys to run into trouble. For both courses, you're paying $139. $139 will, can literally save you from losses north of thousands and thousands of dollars. 
the $139 Forex Mastery course can save you jail time because you have blown somebody's money. So do the right thing for yourself and invest in your life. Invest in your bank account. Okay, guys. So there you go, guys. These are my four key steps to getting a Forex investor. Very simple and very straightforward. Once again, guys, I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for staying to the very end of, of this video. Do me a little favor before you guys go. Obviously, like I said, this video takes a lot of time and effort to put together. Please smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. And of course, drop me a comment. Tell me if you found this video helpful and tell me guys tell me a topic you guys would like me to speak about in the near future and then i'll obviously put it together and speak to you guys about it all right guys there you go that's my time love you very much and peace out